Swerving, how you look so perfect on your worst days. Double C it purchase, you deserve it. Niggas in your DM, they be Thursday. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I know y'all been missing me with the videos. You guys keep telling me on Instagram. You guys want videos. So I've decided to give you guys a video. And honestly, the real reason I haven't been giving you guys videos is because like I just haven't been liking the type of like engagement on YouTube. I feel like my views has been like really down. But I'm gonna give it like a month to really like go hard on here and see what happens and then make my decision on if I want to continue on YouTube or not. So for right now I'm gonna give you guys this look which is kind of like a recreation. I don't know if any of you remember this look that I did a few years ago. It was like one of my looks that went really viral and I decided to recreate it <laughs> and actually when I was recreating it I kind of I went away from the original look and kind of did my own thing but it's kind of like an updated version of that look you could say yeah I think it came out pretty good I I'm in love right now I love it so if you guys like to see how I created this look then stay tuned and also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss my videos so if you guys want to see this look stay tuned so we're gonna start off with the eyes. I don't usually start off with my eyes just because I don't know, it just makes me feel off balance. I don't know. But we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna use my Too Faced concealer. This is their Born This Way concealer, their full coverage one, which is my favorite one. I'm also gonna put some on the back of my hand because I'm gonna use this to shape up my brows underneath. I like to put some on my lid and then put some on the back of my hand to shape up my brows. Oh, I think I just messed up my brows a little. The way I do my brows now is so different from the way that I used to do my brows. I used to always aim for that like perfect brow look. Now I'm more so like, oh, like whatever with it. I try to be more natural with my brows. I don't even shape up the top anymore. It is a rare that you see me shape up the top. And if you see me shaping up the top, it's probably only because I feel like the top isn't straight and like neat, but it's rare. I'm going to blend out the concealer with my finger, I'm just tapping, and I'm really focusing on the corners to make sure that it just blends into my skin. I swear I could never win. Every time I go to make a video, somewhere, somehow, noise just comes from somewhere. So annoying. Anyways, now that we have this set with this concealer, what I love about this concealer is that you don't have to go in on top and like set it with anything. You can just go right in with your shadow, which I think is best because it just makes the shadow pop even more. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right into our shadow that we're going to be using. When I did this look, I did basically one color on the lid and then I went ahead and did the glitter. We're going to do it a little bit different. So I'm going to go in with this orange just because I feel like the glitter for the lid has a little hint of orange in it. So we're going to go in with this orange right here. It's a deep, deep orange called NSFW and we're going to go in with the Huntress after. With the orange shade, we're mainly going to focus this one as like the transition color. I want this color to be like a hint. I don't want it to show too much. I just want to have like a hint of it coming out the top above the brown. This looks really pink. <laughs> I do not like how pink it looks. It looks like really pink. I don't know if it looks pink on camera. I don't think it looks pink on camera, but in my mirror it looks super pink. So we're just going to put a little bit of that there. And don't really, don't really worry about it because you're not really going to see it. You're really not going to see it. Now that's pretty good. Now we're going to go in with Huntress. And we're really going to pick up this color and pack it in. So I'm pretty much just pressing the color in and then I blend it. Now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply the glitter. I'm going to cut the crease with the glue. And the glue that we're going to use is my Itay Minerals Glitter Glue, which is like my favorite thing to cut the crease. Um, if you're not, if you feel like you need something that you can actually see what you're doing, then I'd say just go ahead and cut it with concealer and then put the 
glue on top but because I feel like I'm pretty comfortable with doing it with the glue I'm just gonna use the glue but you can use concealer first and we're gonna go for like a really dramatic eye guys so I'm really gonna bring this cut crease like up up all right so after I put on the glue what I do is I pretty much let it dry in a little bit so I don't remember exactly what glitter I used for that video but I'm gonna take out the glitters that I think because I think I still have the same glitter from that video but I just don't remember exactly which one it was I'm gonna use this one which I pretty much think it was this glitter that I used this is my NYX glitter brilliance in number four let's see if we can show you guys this a little I don't know if it's focusing focus 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 but before we apply the glitter, what I'm going to do is I'm going to line my eyes and I'm going to use my Iris Beauty Eyeliner. I like to do this before I apply the glitter just because it makes it less messy and easier to apply the eyeliner. And I'm not applying it on top of like any glitter. So I'm going to do this first. And I'm going to really wing the eye out. And just so you guys know, I can see where I cut the crease because it's like really glossy. So it's kind of like if you use concealer, but instead instead you use something wet and it comes off really glossy. So I can still see where I use, where I cut the crease. So let's apply our eyeliner. And I'm going to try to like really wing the eye out. And this is only the first step for the eyeliner. I'm going to go in with a gel liner after I apply the glitter. So once the eyeliner is done, we're going to proceed to apply the glue. But first, I am going to go over the same areas with a little bit more glue just to get it a little bit fresh and ready for the glitter. And it's okay if it looks a little bit like creamy. That's because the concealer that was on the brush. And you know, I'm going to use the same brush to apply the glitter just because I feel like it's going to pick it up good and it's going to get it where I need it. So you see how this one looks compared to that one? The big difference on how the liner is more vibrant and black. It's just perfect. I think it's pretty simple like this, but I feel like it needs some more spice. So what I'm going to do, I am going to go ahead and apply the black in there. So I'm going to pick up some black shadow in the same palette. I'm going to pick up the black shadow. This is called Disturbia. It's like a really matte black and we're gonna put this in the outer corner I just feel like this needs a little bit more drama so that looks much better much more dramatic for me now I'm gonna apply I'm gonna apply my NYX shine killer to my face because I just I just get super shiny and I just don't want to get super shiny with this look so Let's apply it to the main areas. My main areas are like all of these areas here. The middle of my forehead, my chin, and my nose. That's like the main areas where I get like super shiny. Um, the foundation I'm going to be using today is actually a mix of these two foundations. Which is my NARS foundation and my Giorgio Armani foundation. And I'm mixing both of them because this one is a little too light for my skin. And this one is way too dark for my skin. I'm going to use my brush to help me begin to blend it and I'm going to transition into my sponge after. So you guys see once that blends together it's like my perfect color. I'm going to be using my Ellie Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and I'm also going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape in the color Tan Sand just to brighten up a little. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set these areas because I am going to contour with powder, not going to contour with cream, powder only. So because I want under the eyes to pop, I'm going to set this area twice. So the first setting of this under the eye area, I'm going to use my Kat Von D setting powder. This is in the color translucent. This is how it looks.
All right, that looks great. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the rest of the areas with my Milk Makeup Translucent Powder. And this is in the color Translucent Deep. And I do that because this one is like a little darker. Not even a little bit. Much darker than the other powder that I just used. I'm gonna powder my whole face now. If you guys know me, you guys know I have super oily skin, so I have to like powder my entire face. So I'm gonna use my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Pressed Powder. This is in the color Deep Cool 3. I'm gonna apply this all over. Now we're going to contour the face. I'm gonna use my usual, the Makeup Geek Contour in the color Deal Breaker. The nose is like my favorite part to do. It's like I love to see my nose just get snatched. Now we're going to apply blush. And I'm going to use my usual, my favorite blush. Also a Makeup Geek blush. This is in the color Desire. Actually underneath here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the same brown that I just used to contour my face because it is pretty similar to the brown that we used in the lid so and it's much softer so it's not going to be that dark which I don't want it that dark and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray my face I just do this before I apply my highlighter to get the face to look really bronzy and glowy i'm gonna go into my covergirl um what is this their versatile cheek palette and this is in the color rose rush it has a blush in here and it also have like some highlighters so i'm gonna go in with this gold one right here in the middle it's super pretty this is the one we're gonna use so i'm gonna go in with it right here you gotta look for the area that just naturally shines and just go over that area. Mm, do you guys see that? Do you guys see this? Like, I cannot wait to use this in the summertime. It's gonna be bomb. It's gonna be so bomb. I used this once before, but... I don't remember it being so, like, so pretty. I probably didn't use this much before, but damn. I don't ever want to use anything else. Like, this is so pretty. And I'm also going to apply it into the inner corners of my eyes to really make the eyes pop. Let's really see how pretty this is hold on let's apply this to the skin down here and see how really pretty this is let's try it down here remember this is a cover girl let's see pop those <laughs> gotta pop the collarbones out you know and just oh my gosh guys this is beautiful this is just beautiful what the hell Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely going to be using this. Summertime, I'm going to be using this on my body. This is just beautiful. Oh, do you guys see that glow? Do you guys see that glow? Once we do that, I'm going to spray my whole face. I use the NYX setting spray. This is their matte setting spray. And I also go in with some more of the mist that we did go in with before. So we're going to line the lips. And I'm going to use my Black of Cosmetics lip liner. This one is in the color MS06. It's like their darkest brown, I believe. 
Now the color lipstick I'm going to be using, this is the Natural Matte by Brucey. Um, you can actually find these in like um, maybe a drugstore. I know they sell this at Rite Aid and like Walgreens, but I'm not too sure about anywhere else. But I, you may be able to find it in like your beauty supply store, I'm not too sure. And I'm not sure if they have a website either. I don't like to put too much of this because um, a little goes a long way with this color. I'm going to go on top of that with a lip gloss. And the lip gloss I'm using is just my regular beauty supply store lip gloss. And this one is the clear one. There's one more thing that I do to my face. And I'm going to do it on camera for you guys. This is actually a step that um, I usually do this off camera especially when I'm making videos but I'm gonna do it on camera for you guys just to show you guys so because I have really oily skin I hate the look of like shine on my face because in like an hour I'm gonna get even extra shiny so what I like to do after I finish spraying my face is and also I do this because I also just like the look of like a matte face I don't really like shine even though I love like this glow and stuff I don't really like too much of it so this is a step that I go in with after I finish spraying my face and I finish off my whole look and I don't spray my face again after so I take like a pressed powder I use this color because this is like the color of all my highlighted areas and I take my beauty blender this is the same one that I was using before that's why it's dirty and I just kind of rub it on top and I go in and I press this in. I think I picked up a little too much. But I go in and I press it in under my eyes. And I kind of go over like all the areas that I highlight. But you're going to see how it like mattifies the area. And with this it's like the, the glow still pokes through but it's not like too much the highlighter it still comes through but it's just not like too too much so if I go anywhere this is what I would usually bring with me like if I go out and after I do my makeup I usually bring this with me and like a sponge because this is what I do this is like my method for blotting because if my face gets too shiny when I'm outside all I have to do is go in like a bathroom and do this and my face looks good again and if you feel like you need to, you can just easily brush over your face with this. And that is it, guys. This is the final look. I hope you guys enjoy. So this is my version to that look now. I think it's super pretty. I'm not really a glitter person, but <laughs> I love to see the final look of like a glitter look. So this just might make me do some more glitter looks, you never know. So let me know what you guys think about this look in the comments below. Also like and subscribe, please. Also turn on your post notifications because um, we need to start getting better with these views because you guys be telling me that you guys don't see my videos when I be uploading videos. So please turn on my post notifications and I will see you guys in my next video. And I hope you guys love this look. Don't forget to let me know what you guys think in the comments. Bye.